Welcome to Digital Exposure TV. Today I've got for you a Mac top tip. And today's Mac top tip is how to watermark your photographs. So if you just started in photography and you don't want to splash a load of cash on um, Photoshop and you just quickly want to watermark any of your photographs, then this is the way to do it. Um, here you'll see an icon of a fish. This is to show you what Seashore, uh, the free app for Mac looks like. If you go and download that now, it's completely free. It's just a basic image um, editing software. You'll need that for this tip. Um, it's completely free, should be completely virus free. Just check where you're downloading it from. And uh, then we can begin. This, this tip's more for people who don't have any proper editing software. Uh, for photos and they want to watermark their photos because they're getting into photography and you know when you start photography you want people to see who took those images and you don't want people to steal your images so watermarking is a great way to do that now let's start by opening up my example here this is an example of the digital exposure tv logo and we're going to use it today as a watermark your watermark can be anything you can just use your name or you can use a logo or anything you like but this is how to do it so you can get your image like this or perhaps just plain white text on a black background anything you like and we're going to chroma key the background out of it so that you just have the text so you double click it on the desktop it'll open up in preview if it doesn't right click go to open with and then preview then once you've got it up go to this little box here next to the hand you'll see it's a dotted square left click hold down go down to instant alpha you'll see a little crosshair comes up hold down with your left click button drag it out slowly so that it cuts out in red the background you don't want to overdo it because you'll end up cutting out all of your text as well that should be okay then you let go and it's cut it out now to seal that we just need to press return on the keypad and you see it all disappears and it will cut down to your basic size with these dotted lines. Now, obviously you don't wanna just get rid of that. You wanna get rid of these little bits here, which you all often have to do if you're doing text. So you go on the little square dotted line again, down to instant alpha, and then put the crosshair in the area you want to fill, drag it out so that it turns red. You'll see a little percentage sign tells you how much percentage you're covering there and let go. And again, you see the little percentage, so that's uh, 16%, 17, 20, and let go. And the same again. And see, for example, here you can see, let's zoom in. There's just some little dark areas. You can zoom in, cut them out too, get rid of that, polish it up a bit. And we'll go over to here, polish that bit. And pretty basic it needs a bit of tweaking but you get the idea so then let's zoom out and press return and we have a finished product so then we go to file save now we've got our little watermark all ready for us so we'll close that and now we've got an image here this is this is one of my photographs it can be one of yours obviously and you right click Go to open with Seashore. Again, the little fish logo. And now it will open up that image in the exact size that it is. See, mine's quite a large image, so that's why it's really zoomed in. Go down to here to zoom out. You'll see a little plus, minus, and an equals. If you press minus, you'll zoom out. And there we go. We can see, I'll zoom in a little bit more there. We can see the image. And I'll just scroll down because usually you have your watermark in the bottom corner. I'm going to put it here on the bottom left. So now we go to File, Import, and then pick our watermark from the desktop. Oh, there we go. And watermark example, or obviously whatever you've called yours, open. And there it is. You can see it at the center of the screen. If you go up to this little tool on the top right, it's like a little cross, looks like um, north, south, east, and west. 
that will then allow you to grab this and put it where you like. So if you'd like it at the bottom corner there, which I do, you now have it in that area. You see your layers on the left hand side here. So this is the top layer, the watermark. Now, if you want it a little bit bigger, you can go to layer, scale layer, and then you can put a percentage in. For example, I want mine a little bit bigger, so I'm going to put it 120%. Now if you click down, that's on the horizontal, if you click down to vertical, it'll automatically change it so that it does the same percentage, horizontal and vertical. And click scale, and you'll see this has now increased in size slightly. So I'll move into position where I like it. Right, I want my watermark there. So now I'm going to go to file, save as, I want to save it as a JPEG image and I want to, it's compressed quite a lot so I'm going to go to the original there and to do that I just clicked on options next to JPEG and I'm going to have it original because I want it to be the best quality I can get and then click OK. Then put your destination, here I'm having a desktop, file name, you probably know all this because you use a Mac all the time, then press save. And would I like to replace the one that's on the desktop? I would, you don't have to. I've just given it the same name for example purposes. Now, let's just minimize this Seashore software. Now if we click on waterfall and open it up, you'll see we have our finished image with our watermark and there you go. So hopefully this Mac top tip has helped you out, especially if you don't have any um, photo editing software as such. Um, Hopefully this will really help and it will give an extra professional look to your photographs when you're starting out in photography. Please check out the rest of our videos and as always subscribe and hopefully you can find some more Mac top tips here at Digital Exposure TV.